mathematical mind, flair for tinkering, curiosity, but what makes an engineer? My name is Jeanette and I'm an environmental engineer. <laughs> Society is always going to have problems and engineers are the group of people that will get together and design something to address that problem. Um, when you talk about an environmental engineer, that's somebody who's said specifically that they want to face problems that have to do with the environment, whether it be air, water, soil. As a kid, I always liked to be outdoors. I really liked planets, solar system, things like that, collecting rocks, which is funny now that I'm an environmental engineer because it's really important to know the soil underneath we're standing on and what it does. When I was a freshman in high school, there wasn't a big, I would say, push to go to college necessarily. It wasn't a hot topic, but there was something unique about my class that we just kind of were always looking out for each other. There was some special bond that we had that was a positive, like, motivating force. By the time I became a senior, it wasn't like if you were gonna go, it was where are you gonna go. In high school, I found that I was really good at the math classes and the sciences, but I struggled through my English courses, writing, doing book assignments, and turning in those papers. My geometry teacher just asked, what are you gonna go and study when you get to college. He was the one that actually saw something in me that I didn't even see in myself. I was wondering why do people get sick and what in the environment might cause that. And he was the one that suggested to look into engineering. I had no idea what engineering was. My impression of an engineer was a train conductor, like somebody, you know, <laughs> making sure the trains arrive on schedule. When I went into college, a professor from the School of Environmental Engineering came and gave a couple of lectures. He specifically was working on a research project that was tying in um, air pollution to, and correlating it with the development of asthma in children. And as soon as he gave that lecture, I was just like sold. I was like, that's what I want to do. My father was diagnosed with colon cancer um, at the, he was 35 when he was diagnosed. At that time, I was still in junior high school. I felt like I had to grow up really quickly um, in understanding what cancer was um, and what it does to the body and what it can do to a family. My parents um, are really proud that I'm an engineer. I don't think they fully understand what that is, though. <laughs> um, nobody in my family has an engineering background. Um, I am the first in my family to go to college. When I started my freshman year at USC, it was a culture shock. Um, not just because everyone looked different, but everyone also had different experiences. Um, in the classroom, I was finding myself competing with people who went to private school, who had had private tutors in the past, didn't look like me, didn't talk like me, and didn't have the same expectations for their lives like I did either. I ended up finding a good group of people to build a community with and just kind of navigate that first year together. I feel like it was really necessary for me to, to go through that because it built character. I think everything in life has its purpose and its place. My biggest fear growing up is the fear of failing. Um, and I think that kept me from Sometimes even asking for help growing up, I just wanted to do it on my own and that way if I failed, I would know. I would only know myself and nobody else would know. And it's really, um, it's not a good way of growing. <laughs> Everyone makes mistakes. If I could give my 13 year old self the greatest advice, I would tell her to stop worrying so much, to stop being afraid and just to go out and try new things and talk to new people and have different experiences.
Whatever you want to be in life, I think you should try and find someone who's doing it and, and just probe them and ask them questions and how they got there. Um, more than likely, they're willing to share. I think my greatest hope growing up is still the same for me today. I'm still growing up. Um, was just to make a difference in this world, that whatever I, I did or put my hands on or um, was a part of, that it would make a positive impact. I am who I am and I don't focus too much on what I look like on the outside as opposed to what I know, what I can learn and um, what I want to become. And the one certain spirited characteristic of the human heart, courage to accept constant challenge, the challenge to solve problems which perplex, challenge to change the world into a better place. Challenge makes an engineer.